Hey, today I wanted to show you how to make these quick and easy junk barricades that you can use for light cover in your upcoming 40k games for 9th edition. With that being said, let me show you how it's done. I found these really cool skinny sticks, like woodcraft sticks at Walmart, and they were like super perfectly sized for this kind of fence terrain. I went ahead and grabbed about five of them. This will cover a five-man squad. Oh, actually, technically a ten-man squad if you're going to have some people lined behind each other. But uh, I went ahead, grabbed my X-Acto knife, and just ran across it uh, to create some grooves. So the reason I'm doing this is because we need to texture it, or else when we paint it, it's not going to look like wood. So I made sure I got both sides. Once that was done, I textured the rest of the five of them and started to trim off the edges. So we're essentially beveling it. What this will do is just kind of give a little bit of life, a little flavor to the sticks that we're using. Now you're gonna wanna bevel about three of these on both sides, well technically all four sides. And then for two of the sticks, you're just gonna bevel two of the sides. Once that's done, we're gonna put this to the side. Then we're gonna grab two of the sticks and place them in a corner for later. Now when we make the planks, make sure you use a model as a reference so we can get the right size planks. So uh, you're gonna cut out one of them, use that as a template for the rest of the planks, and just start cutting up the rest of the sticks. You might have some excess, uh, but that's fine. Just keep cutting. And then if you have any scrap, just keep it for a later project if you want to. Now that we have that done, let's put away our models. Get out my super glue. And start gluing it. You want to make sure you glue on one side first and kind of go to the opposite side. This will prevent any warping between any of the extra planks that we're putting in the middle. So just go ahead and start stacking them on there. Uh, I also left some gaps in some of the planks to make it look like maybe somebody ripped it off or shot it out. You could also fix that up with like breaking some planks in half too and putting that on there with glue. Grab some corrugated paper and my scissors. We're going to use this as a metal scrap that's just going to be laying around the fence. Cut it to whatever size you want. I wanted to use squares but you could also use these weird trapezoid. And I also grabbed some chipboard. Now that we have our pieces that we're going to work with, we're going to grab a knife, exacto knife, and I made a little cuts in the end to act as rivets for this metal scrap that we're going to do. I also use that to make battle damage, bullet holes, whatever you want to do. Have fun with it. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and sand our fence. Now that everything is nice and dry, we're going to grab one side and just start sanding it to make sure it's flat and it will stay on the base properly when we glue it on later. I then grab some chipboard and I use that to measure out a base. I just laid the fence down to kind of measure around it to see if it's good enough and just marked it off. And cut out the base. I also found this little toy that I ended up not using in the project, but if you have any toys or scrap bits laying around, this is a perfect spot for them, I just couldn't fit it on the base. So I grabbed some of this grainy grating. You see this used a lot for different projects. Uh, I tend to not use it that much, but uh, I decided to use it for this project just for the fact that we can kind of glue it in an angle and it isn't so apparent that it's the grainy grating. So I did that and then just trimmed the excess off. Came out pretty cool. 
I grab some of the corrugated cardboard paper and kind of dry fit it to see where I'd want it on the base using the fence. So as soon as I found a good spot for it, went ahead and marked that off and then put some super glue there and put down the cardboard. Once that dried up, I ended up trimming the sides as well, just to overhang. All right, cool. Now that that's done, I'm gonna grab my black Mod Podge and cover the back. Then we're gonna wait for that to dry. Once it is dry, we're gonna flip it over and get the other side. Then we're gonna wait for that to dry. Now that that's done, Let's grab our fence and super glue it on. Make sure that you're holding down the fence for a little bit to make sure the super glue stays on. And we'll start painting. Let's get this metallic gunmetal paint. I'm just gonna paint up everything I was gonna use except for that one bit that I ended up not using. So let's go ahead and do that. I ended up going outside and priming this with some matte black primer uh, just to make sure that it gets a good coat of paint later. Go ahead and take out a brush and a palette to use and then just start painting. I started with this brown paint that's kind of neutral because we're gonna dry brush it later. You can use any type of brown for this project. I just chose this brown because it's the easiest to work with. And once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and grab a lighter shade of brown and dry brush. I went in with the gunmetal and painted the grainy grating as well as the metal sheet that's in the back. that to the side to dry and then grabbing the scrap bits of metal kind of went back and forth throughout the whole entire process once you figure out what color you want to use paint up your metal I chose this really bright blue and this green just to give a little bit of life to some uh, brown terrain I'll go ahead and I use this little sponge that I found off of these uh, movement storage thingies that I had for uh, 40k armies I just ripped off a piece and used that as a sponge. So use whatever sponge you got laying around. But uh, I made sure to do a stippling on here to make it look like worn off metal or worn off paint. Then hit everything with a brown or a dark shade. I just used a homemade shade that I had, which ended up leaking all over the table, but no big. that's done, grab some of this blue and stippled it onto the metal sheet in the back. Then put that away to dry. Went back to grab my metal scraps and I used this smoke paint by Vallejo I found at my local game store. Uh, it's like my go-to for any sort of rust effect or something. It makes everything look grimy. So what I did was just use a little bit of that and then just stipple it on with a sponge on the edges and also dab some in the middle. I just went around all the scrap bits with that. Once that was done, use a little bit of that paint and some water to kind of do a shade-ish, just mostly to make grime. You want to grime this up to junk barricade, you know. 
And once that's done, I did the same exact thing with the uh, other bits of metal that are laying down on the floor. Then I dry brushed the fence with this khaki paint. Grab some of the sand to make a uh, texture paint, kind of. Just uh, pretty much sand, some of this brown paint. I use the Mod Podge. Also threw some baking soda in there because I wanted to try that out. It's always good to experiment with projects. Mix that around. It's a little too brown, so I'm putting some black paint. More brown. More baking soda. More sand. It needs to be like a concrete consistency. Also threw some pebbles that I had into there. But look at that. Looks like it's good enough. Alright. Now to uh, finish off these scrap bits with some silver. So I just did a dry brush along the edges of the metal. Also kind of stippled it on the front as well. To make it look like it's scratched or something. I did that with all the scrap bits of metal that I have. Okay, now that we have that done, let's put on our texture paint. So be as messy as you need to be. Uh, it's okay if it hits the fence. If it gets too much on there, just get some water and you can definitely take it off. It's not that, you know, it's not going to be that rough on your paint. Once that's dry, I hit it with a khaki paint, just a dry brush over it. hit it with some matte finish when you're done and that's pretty much it here's how the uh, junk barricade came out a bunch of orcs uh, looks pretty decent actually with the little effort that we did you could definitely bang out a bunch of these in an afternoon uh, you can even play with it a little bit do some uh, angular pieces but uh, it's a pretty cool project uh, very easy to do totally would recommend and very cheap if you guys like what you're seeing, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you guys have any ideas for future projects. I'm also on Instagram and Reddit now if you want to follow those posts. Uh, but hope you had fun. Thank you for watching.